We are well into the Atlantic hurricane season, which meteorologists believe has the potential to be one of the busiest on record. With that in mind, let's take a flashback of Hurricane Gilbert. There were hurricane winds which lasted approximately 10 to 12 hours, with the eye passing directly over the country. This hurricane claimed the lives of 45 persons while hundreds were left homeless and thousands were forced to seek refuge in the emergency shelters, which soon became overcrowded. To make matters worse, many designated shelters were destroyed by the hurricane. September 12, 1988 is a date that still brings a feeling of fear to those who would have lived through Hurricane Gilbert. It is still the mark of a comparison to other hurricanes that would hit Jamaica afterwards, as it was one of the most catastrophic experiences in Jamaica's history. This year marks the 32nd anniversary of Hurricane Gilbert. Many lost their lives while others were left homeless. Damages to the economy were in the range of billions of dollars and agriculture was exceedingly jolted. Now, did you know that Gilbert was the first hurricane in 37 years to hit Jamaica directly? Water, electricity, and telephone services took several months to be fully restored across the island and damages were estimated at $4 billion, with the damage to agriculture accounting for more than 40% of this total. Jamaica's banana industry lost some $40 million in export earnings. The hardest hit, however, were the nation's homes, with an estimated one-fifth of the total houses in Jamaica either wrecked or severely damaged. After the hurricane, a state of public emergency was declared in St. Thomas, St. Catherine, and Kingston and St. Andrew, which lasted for over one month. The name Gilbert was retired from the list of hurricane names. Get wet for your own protection. Go.